Alright, what up folks? Welcome to part um three. This is part three. Okay, so this is part three. In the last video we talked about we redefined probably once again, because I probably talked about that in part one, but we redefined what rich actually is. And if you haven't seen part one or two, rich according to Nasdaq, Robert Kiyosaki and, and actual wealthy people, um rich is when you generate enough passive income to cease working for money's sake alone. Basically, when your passive income ex meets or exceeds your monthly expenses. So if your monthly expenses total $1,200 a month, that means $14,400 a year. If you generate $14,400 in passive income a year, you are rich. You no longer have to work for money. It's not a million dollars in the bank. It's not making a million dollars a year. It's not a hundred thousand dollars a year or ten thousand dollars a month. It's when your passive income covers your monthly expenses, you are considered rich. You no longer work for money. That's the goal. There are a lot of people trying to be rich, but none of them understand the actual goal is to not have to work for money, to put your money to work for you or to make your assets work for you so that you no longer have to work for money. My assets work for money, so I don't work for money. The uh, the example we're seeing here is someone's money working for money so they don't have to work for money. Now, let's look at this. The reason that I want to show you this chart, I'm just going to say it from the beginning. The reason I want to show you this chart is because we do not value passive income correctly. One dollar of passive income is not equal to one dollar of earned income it doesn't work that way it's more like one dollar of passive income is like it's worth like 33 42 100 dollars of earned income that's really how it works it's kind of like how you take a u.s dollar and you go to a third world country and your your value multiplies by 30 or 40 or a hundred <laughs> that's that's the same so if you go to Jamaica with a US dollar that one dollar is worth a hundred dollars that's how passive income is uh, measured against earned income that's what I want you guys to understand so a person like me as I may have mentioned in the last video who was earning thirty five hundred dollars a month and in passive income thought that I was failing because I was measuring myself to the products that was being sold to me and the products that were being sold to me were saying hey I taught this person how to make a hundred thousand dollars in their first six months or I began I began making ten thousand dollars a month once I did this X Y and Z so I was buying products like that thinking that uh, ten thousand dollars a month or a hundred thousand dollars a year that that was the actual goal but those that's that wasn't the goal none of that stuff was the actual goal and I, I had no idea um, that my $3,500 was actually success, you know, but the, the numbers didn't, they weren't reaching me, so I, I didn't know. So I, I self-sabotaged and got rid of the $3,500 a month that I was making <laughs> and had to rebuild. It wasn't until after that fact that I found out that, oh shit, I was actually already financially independent. I was chasing somebody else's idea of financial independence. Well, not somebody else's idea. I was chasing a product that was sold to me to keep me chasing products being sold to me as opposed to actually arriving at the destination. So I'm making this video because I want people to understand the power of passive income way before I did. All right. Because by the time I understood it, I had sabotaged $3,500 a month in income. What? I was fucking winning. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know I was winning. Like, that's what I'm saying. And, and all right, so that's that's why I take this shit so serious. I don't want you to start where I started. I want you to start where I am now. So understanding passive income and in, in its true definition or its true value, we can see it here. So the S and P 500 is something people are familiar with. It's like all the all the good stocks put together, right? So if you have money to invest. And you're looking for dividends um, from your stocks. This isn't the stocks where you, you, you know, the stock went up and I sold some shares and I made this. This isn't that bullshit that's, sec that's sexy and entertaining. That's what that is. This isn't that bullshit. This is something different. This is investing for the long term and it's cash, it's cash flow investing. You're investing for cash flow, not to, not for accumulation. 
and accumulation is the shit that they keep selling us too but you're really investing in cash flow you're investing so that you no longer have to work for money so this is what the average person is going to do um they're going to invest in this if they go to like a financial planner i got a million dollars what when I, what can i do with it um i want to receive a dividend da, da, da. this is what they're going to tell you to do invest in the s p 500 it's the safest one it's been performing the same way for the last 100 years da, da, da. all these things are going to tell you um the same shit everybody else been hearing and they're going to tell you to do that and if you're an internet marketing person and you're fucking spoiled then you're going to say 1.2 million just to make 30 grand a year i might as well just keep this shit and spend this if you're an internet marketing person you're going to look at that and think that doesn't make any sense or if you've just been polluted by mainstream financial media right who wants to be a millionaire and all that type of shit it's like why would i give up my millions to make 30 grand a year i can't even live off of that that's what that's what the average person is going to think but this shows you the correct value of passive income 30 grand in passive income is equal to 1.2 million dollars invested in the s p 500 30 grand in income and passive income is not equivalent to somebody going to work 40 hours a week earning $30,000. It's not the same. It's not the same. 30 grand in passive income is equal to a million dollars. That's what you have to understand. At the least, this is best case scenario. This is what we also have to understand. They sell us, they promote this stuff in the commercial. They promote this stuff on the flyer. They promote this stuff on the internet, on the banner that you see on the internet. But when you click on it and you get to the actual person on the phone, they're going to tell you it's up to 15%, not guaranteed 15%. The typical falls within this range. That's what you would then find out. And that this is the typical range. One to four, maybe 5%. But this is the typical range right here. So um, 30 grand in passive income is equal to about from 3 million to $600,000 in the bank or invested in a stock. That's what it's equal to. 30 grand in passive income is not equal to 1 million in the bank. 1 million in the bank is losing value every single day. Every single day. It's not the same. <laughs> so 1 million, 1.2 million invested in a stock. Now that's the same as 30 grand in passive income. 30 grand in passive income is not equal to a million in the bank. A million in the bank is worthless. You're going to spend it. It's going to go away. Inflation is going to eat it up. Same thing. It's going away and not returning. Passive income is residual. It comes whether you work or not. That's the difference. So it's, it's not equal to a million in the bank, but it is equal to 1.2 million invested in a stock. 30 grand in passive income is equal to having 1.2 million dollars working for you as opposed to you working for a million dollar company that's what it's equal to so i need you guys to understand that 30 grand in passive income is not equal to 30 grand in, in earned income absolute income versus relative income absolute income is he makes a hundred thousand dollars i make thirty thousand dollars and the person will say wow you need to get like him you need to go back to school get you a, a higher degree so that you can get a better paying job and then not say oh but uh i don't work for money I, I haven't worked for money in over two years and then they would say well how in the world because that person is working 40 hours a week to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year so their time is measured by money so that means their eight hours nets them a certain amount of money me that means my eight hours continues to work for me residually. That's the difference between relative and passive income. A person making a, a person making a hundred thousand dollars at a job is not making more money than I am. That's what I had to understand, and that's a it's a mind fuck. Because we're so used to looking at things in absolute income. You make a hundred thousand, I make thirty thousand, you make more than I do. But when I look at the amount of time that you work, giving up your most valuable asset, your time, I realize actually I make more than you do. Because I don't work, I don't I don't exchange energy for money or time for money. So that you understand it's hard to explain it but i that's like me saying i make a thousand dollars an hour kind of you know what i'm saying because 
I, I don't work while this person works. So their time, their money is measured in time. Mine isn't. That's the difference between the two. If they stop working, they're broke. You see what I'm saying? And I don't have to work to make money. That's the, that's the two. That's the difference between my income and their income. The type of income they generate is, is valued at, at a less uh, rate than mine. That's the best way I can put it. I know I'm not explaining that right. There's like diagrams and shit that explain that really, really good. So look up uh, relative income versus absolute income and somebody will explain that to you really, really good because <laughs> I just fucked it up. But Tim Ferriss is the person that um, s this concept is in his book and it talks about how if you make $40,000 in passive income, it's like making four hundred thousand dollars a year at a CEO job, and I'm like, how, how, Tim, how? Now he mentioned that you know, first of all, you have location independence, meaning that I no longer have to live in a place where the cost of living is high. I can go to a third world paradise, and my income is is multiplied by thirty <laughs> instantly. So that makes me wealthier there, but just the fact that I no longer exchange my time for money makes me wealthy. The person who goes to a job, who works a job and makes a hundred thousand dollars a year, is not rich. They, if they ever cease working, they go back to where where their value actually is, kind of like how currency is. Once you detach it from gold, it's worth what's. It's not worth anything. It's just worth what we believe it's worth. So I'm sorry, sorry. I'm not trying to be confusing this shit. I'm I, I'm not trying to get off the off the. This is what I'm trying to say. A person that earns a hundred thousand dollars a year at a job that works has not met Nasdaq's. You see what I'm saying? Uh, we will consider someone to be rich if they generate enough passive income to cease working. So a person who earns a hundred thousand dollars a year at a job is not rich. Me who earns said amount and it all covers my expenses, I'm fucking rich. <laughs> Even though I don't make nearly what that person makes. If my expenses are $10,000 a year and I make $11,000 a year in passive income, I'm rich. And the person who makes $400,000 at their CEO job is not. That's the truth. Can they buy a yacht? Can they, or, or can they lease a yacht? Can they take a, you know, that's, that's what we going to, uh, that's what we then measure as rich. Well, well, you can't do what that person can do. What do you mean? I don't have to work for money anymore. That's the goal. Not working for money so that I can lease a yacht and go here and do, what the fuck is y'all talking about? We, that's, that's how they got us. That's how they manipulated us into thinking that exchanging our most valuable asset that we can't recoup time for their currency, not money. They're not giving you gold and silver coins. They're giving you currency. They're giving you cash. That's lost 95% of its purchasing power since its invention or since the, the Nixon took us off the gold standard or whoever did. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand. The cash that they're giving you for your time is worthless. That's the reason it was invented. It was invented to buy assets while the cash itself loses its, loses its purchasing power. So a person who is working for $400,000 a year is not rich. The person who doesn't work and makes $11,000 in passive income and can pay all their bills is rich. They are rich in fucking time. The thing everybody in this world is giving up for money right now. Time and energy. A person who is wealthy, who has re, who, a person who has reclaimed their time and energy is really rich. Now, if they're sitting at home with all their time and energy and unhappy, I would have to reevaluate my life, right? But I'm happy. So, all right, so I'm getting off the point. All right, I'm getting off the point. But I just want you to understand that wealth, uh, a person who works a job versus a person who makes passive income, the person who makes passive income is rich, even if they only generate $10,000 a year. But if they cover their expenses with that $10,000 a year, they are rich. The person who has to go to work from nine to five, seven, four, five days a week, but normally to earn like $400,000 a year, you, you're really working, you know, but that person is not rich. That's what I want you to understand. So we can truly evaluate passive income. That's why $30,000 is worth pat, uh, 
$1.2 million invested. A person who makes $30,000 in passive income is equivalent to a person who has accumulated $1.2 million and invested it in the S&P 500. This person here has the, has a, he's a millionaire by net worth. This person here is a millionaire by relative income. That's the difference. These are two different types of millionaires. And this one here is not celebrated. That's the problem. But this one here, this is the the crazy the, and and this goes back to my original point in the last video. This was the entire reason to become a millionaire in the first place. This is a million dollars. This is a million dollars uh absolute income. This is a million dollars in relative income. This is what I need you to understand. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to cre I'm going to show you a person who's actually doing this, who's actually invested 3.5 million dollars in dividend stocks, and I want you to see what his passive income is looking like from his investments because it's going to change the way you see your little hundred dollars a month that you're not valuing. It's going to change the way you see your ten dollars a month. I promise you. When a millionaire values $10 in passive income and you don't, you're doing something wrong, yo. You're doing something wrong. That's what I had to understand. When a millionaire values $30,000 in passive income and I don't, I'm doing something wrong. This is what you have to understand. This is a millionaire. This is a millionaire. And they understand that this shit right here is worthless. This $3 million is worthless unless you're doing this with it. That's what I want you to understand. And I, I, I really want you to understand the benefit of affiliate marketing and internet marketing when it comes to this. You don't have to. So let's, let's look at it this way. You work a job. I'm assuming you work a job. You know what your yearly salary is. How long would it take you to gross $1.2 million? How long? Okay, how long would it take you to gross $1.2 million? With the internet, you can create 30 grand a year in about a month. Even if it took you five years, wouldn't that be overnight? Compared to how long it would take you to accumulate $1.2 million? Gross, not how long would it take you to put aside all the money you have after bills and shit? And then accumulate $1.2 million from that. How long would it take you to do that? Because that's what this person did. They're not spending their wages, 100% of their wages. The average person um, saves about 10% and that's high. They save 10% for investing. So how long would it take you to save 10% of your income before you could reach $1.2 million invested? That's what the internet provides us. That's why the internet is powerful. Not the, the way that they've been teaching us and selling this shit to us has fucked our perspective and paradigm up. And that, that's making us look at things in an incorrect way. So we're not really valuing the opportunities that we have with the internet. But $100 a month is phenomenal if all you had to do was put in time and energy. If all you had to do was buy hosting and a domain name, and now you make a hundred dollars a month that's phenomenal it's really really amazing and and the person that would save up 1.2 million dollars to invest that for thirty thousand dollars a year would look at you as a genius and a mark and a, and a fucking entrepreneurial wizard that's what you need to understand over your little hundred dollars a month over your little ten dollars a month all right that's all i want you to see how long would it take you to gross this? How long would it take you to save and accumulate this? That's why $30,000 in passive income is so valuable. Not to mention, the average person is going to work 40 to 70 years of their life. For, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but 40 years to death now. Because most people can't retire and have any money. They're going to work to death. So... Investing $1.2 million so that you don't have to work for the next 40 years of your life. That's worth it. That's why they were doing this. That's what I want you to understand. 
that's the value of passive income is because these people have money. They want time. They've gotten money and realized, oh, shit, it was all about time. While we, on the other hand, are giving all of our time trying to get these people's type of money. <laughs> and they're giving all their money away just so that they can have time. That's what I want you to understand. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to actually show you um, a, a person's portfolio. We got $3.5 million invested in dividend stocks. And I want to show you how much they're earning from their investments. It's going to blow your mind. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.